Welcome everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change or turn this thing to this. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we have to create a rectangle. So let's go to rectangle tool. And uh, we're going to uh, make sure that it's on shape. It's not it's not on path or pixels it's in shape so for fill we're choosing white and for stroke we're choosing this none we don't need stroke okay so let's click and drag so we have created a rectangle now what we're gonna do is uh, with this move tool I'm just gonna rotate this and we're trying to match this uh, proportion of the rectangle with the proportion of the page. Okay. Um, okay. So to match this, we're gonna press Shift and then drag it so that it's. So its proportion is similar to the proportion of uh, the page. Okay, so we just need a, like rough, uh, a rough proportion, not the exact proportion. Okay, so roughly it's uh, the pr proportion of the um, rectangle is quite similar to the page of the book. So now we're going to come back to its original position. So we're going to choose zero on this rotate. Okay. We just, uh, if you remember, we just rotated this rectangle. Now we're going to come back to zero. So now it's not rotated. It's in its original state or original position. So once we have done that, uh, what we need to do is just select this rectangle layer, right click, um, I mean right click on the rectangle layer and then rasterize layer, okay. So once again, right click on the layer, the rectangle layer and then convert it to smart object, okay. So now this rectangle is a smart object. So now we're going to double click on this thumbnail of smart object. Now we are uh, we are into this smart object. We are inside this smart object, okay? So now we're going to add the text here on this smart object, okay? So choose the type tool and then we're going to drag like this and we're going to type whatever we want to type. Okay, so once we are done with it, just click this one. Okay, it's done. So we click here, it's done. And then now close this tab. And before closing it, it asks if we need to um, save the file. Yes, we need to save this smart object file. Once we save the smart object, we come back here with this rectangle filled with text. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to press Control T and that's going to help us move this uh, rectangle or like distort or do whatever kind of uh, transformation to this rectangle so once we have pressed control t we're going to hold the control key and then drag the corners like this like this so we're going to uh, align the corners of the rectangle to the corners of the page so it's yeah 
is this pretty good okay so that looks good once we have done that now again right click on this rectangle and choose warp okay we have chosen warp now once we choose the warp tool which uh, we can just click around here inside the rectangle and then drag like this and this is gonna warp the shape and yeah and we can click and adjust like this okay yeah so that's pretty good i think so once you have like you have done the warping just press enter okay it's done the final thing is we're going to go to this blending option uh, which says normal okay click here and choose multiply instead of normal choose multiply and we can see that the white thing on the rectangle is gone now we can only see the text on the page so it looks quite real it looks like the text is already there on the book so i hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to click like and leave a comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already thank you